first time uh, start up with a new Ferrari engine. There's so much room for activities to bow on out of here now. It's bad that I miss it already. <laughs> I know, I know, it's not gone. It's just in storage, but it's not here. I don't see it. Um, looked damn good sitting in that barn though. Post picture. Yeah, that just looks sexy. And then I covered it up with a tarp. So pigeons don't poop on it. If it had uh, nice paint on it, I, I wouldn't just slide a tarp over top of it. But it's it'll be fine. Um, yeah, now I really gotta clean the garage again. But I got room to do so, and I got room. It's one of the other reasons I want to get the car out of here. It's really hard in a three-car garage to work on stuff when there's three cars in there. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. It's possible, it's doable, it's just a pain though, so, um, especially since I got way too much crap, as you guys know, so, now I got the room, I can clean up, find all my tools, put the wife's suburban back together, maybe start working on that a little bit, uh, but I really want to get the dually going, especially, uh, I'm running out of summer, and my main problem last year for not breaking in the engine was that it was already, like, October and getting cold, don't want that to happen again because then I have to wait till spring again and I really want to get this thing going so um, now that there's room I can unearth it and actually uh, work on it have room in here so this will probably be next it was supposed to be you know, worked on before but uh, then the Beaumont came and I promised I'd finish the dually before starting the Beaumont and we all know how that worked out so um, yeah, I'm going to clean up the garage, get a little of this crap off here, and hopefully soon get this thing running, and get it together, finish the deck on it, and that can be a functioning tow truck for winter, help pull people out, maybe make a little bit of extra cash so I can uh, buy some parts for the Beaumont, and then in the spring, get that thing going. Um, for the Beaumont, yeah, I want to over winter, save up maybe a new wiring harness, um disc brakes for the front because the thing's drums all four corners um a posi uh well the front end's a part i like to put some bigger springs in it it's still the v6 springs um get the proper oil pan and headers um probably some other things but maybe some new maybe new exhaust uh uh, see how much money I can save up over winter. But in the spring, we'll pull it back apart. Get done properly this time. Instead of my uh, COVID quarantine, unemployed, no money slap together. Which is just embarrassing. Um, I haven't really proven on this channel yet uh, anything. I mean, I have I say I can fabricate and I say I can... Uh, Put cars together and stuff but i haven't got this thing running yet i didn't get the beaumont running uh my welds on this thing are horrible my welds on that oil pan were horrible um yeah but i promise you um hopefully i can get my welder fixed i can actually do some decent proper welds and show you guys um but yeah i've yet to finish a project on this channel yet so this one this will be the next one 
I promise you. So today the Suburban gets new shoes. I'm just kidding. If you fell for that, then haha. -ha. I mean, these are clearly not new. And this is just sticker on. It's not even the right size. Um, yeah, these are just going to be roll arounds for the Suburban for now. Because um, I stole the 33s off of this for the Nissan. And then put the stock Nissan tires on this. And well, I need those to sell my Pathfinder. So, because uh, I need roll arounds for that. So, these are going to be roll arounds to go on this. And uh, if you don't know what roll arounds are, you're on the wrong channel. Just finished putting those on yesterday. Those roll arounds. And I gotta take that one off, or, well, one of the back ones, because uh, when I went to go get the Pathfinder, um, I was pretty sure it had Chevy wheels on it. I wanted to take those off and put the Nissan wheels on for my brother, so he could take that. And we get out there, it's got two wheels on it, which I knew it only had two on it, but it had two wheels on it. One was a Chevy wheel, good. You go on this. And the other one... A Nissan wheel. So I got three Chevy wheels and a Nissan wheel for this. Um, problem with the Nissan wheels is they don't fit around the disc brakes, so they gotta go on the back. So that guy's gotta come off, go on the front. Nissan wheels gotta come on. Um, get this thing back together. I gotta put the starter back in that I stole for the Beaumont. The wheels, battery. And then this thing should be able to be movable again. I really want to start cutting out all the rest and stuff, but my wife told me I gotta go work on the dually, which I agree. She's not wrong. Why am I using this as a roller? I mean, it's a brand new tire. It's got air in it. It's held the Pathfinder up for three years, still got air. I've been using this as a spare in the avalanche. And it goes flat after like an hour. So, this is going in the avalanche. This is the height I'd eventually like it though. And, uh, yeah. Try to pop this dent out. Happened while I was in the garage here. My wife noticed it. She what happened there. I'm like, maybe that was already there all the time. It was always there. Because she's done that before. She's, oh, that dent. It was there when we bought the truck. Um, but recently edited a video for uh, the Beaumont. And in it you get perfect angle, see the door, and there, is, there wasn't a dent. So it is there now. Um, not sure what happened. The only thing I can think of is maybe when I was swapping tires, I had them leaning up against it, dropped it off the jack, tire pushed up. I don't know, because nothing hit the truck. The Beaumont was sitting right here. So, and it wouldn't be the door opening. It wouldn't be me trying to squeeze something past. So, it's the only thing I can think of. I um, guess I'll try to fix that, because she's kind of upset. I know whole truck's beat up but it's just another part of it it's dented so I'll try to fix that for her and then soon hopefully we'll get to work on this I uh you can see I kind of marked this I guess I'll do a more accurate better one uh, this is all gonna get cut out because it's horribly rusted it's worse on the other side um, but since we want to make custom bumpers anyways, I'm thinking cut this off right along here. Ignore this going up, I didn't, I didn't line it up properly, but kind of cut it off right along here. Cut the inner rocker, everything out, and then build a wraparound bumper. And have it right to here, and then an angle back. And then uh, cut and cap that angle too, so it kind of matches, kind of. Leaning this way, and leaning this way. Uh, maybe do the same to the front fender and then a matching bumper there that does it. 
and then gain a little bit of clearance here for bigger tires once it's lifted. Cut out all the rust and repair it at the same time. Get rid of this. And looks different, looks custom. And get to have fun building some bumpers. So at least that's the plan. Still I gotta get the dually going first. I might cut into this anyways. Wife might be upset. I mean, she'll be happy I'm working on her truck, but she told me I gotta get the dually done, so she might be a little upset there. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's get this starter in. Let's get the battery in. Get it cleaned off, dropped on all fours, and see how well she runs. She'll fire up. She might run rough, but she'll fire up. Back on all fours, starter's in. Battery is in. Alright, just gonna. Uh, Climb back here. Might have been easier just to go through the passenger side. I leaned in, put my keys in. Oh, smoked the door. Another dent, got a fix. Okay, let's see. Do we have power? Yeah, power. On the window first. Okay. half a tank of gas not three quarters uh, empty on this is about there about three eighths <laughs> and uh, full is like uh, down here somewhere will be happy her truck's back together I need the pit so I'm happy it's back together I need the pit to fix the avalanche which in turn will make the wife even happier and then both her trucks will be better that's how you do it guys make the wife happy happy wife happy life Okay, yeah, now I can fill the tires when I'm ready. Drive this out of here, break the avalanche over here, cut the exhaust out, roll in the new exhaust. Gotta go get uh, gas for the welder tomorrow because I'm out again. That bottle does not last at all. Set my keys down, so I'm not making noise in the video anymore. Um, yeah, I gotta go get gas for the welder. And I love my wife, she's awesome. She requested a date tomorrow. Guess where she asked? Pick and pull. That's right, just like my other video there. So uh, tomorrow we'll go get gas. We'll have an awesome day to pick and pull. And probably Sunday, I will pull this out, pull the avalanche in. And if the avalanche is gonna stay there overnight, I believe this fits over here you'll like have to like touch my toolbox just for the garage door to close and I won't be able to get around it um, I think the only way I'll be able to get into the garage is with my door clicker oh well that's what it comes down to that's what it comes down to some of the garage cleaned up a bit uh, still got some more to do but uh, it's nice having the room without the Beaumont here uh, I do miss my car though but uh, like I said the room is nice and I uh, finally blocked off Squirrel loft. It's crooked as shit, but uh, you try putting a piece of MDF up there by yourself. Uh, so, you know what? We're just not going to speak of up there. Ever. Never again. After this moment, it will be never mentioned again. Squirrel loft does not exist. Even though I just mentioned it after I said I'm not mentioning it. But after this video, it's never mentioned again. Squirrel loft does not exist. 
that board is not there. It's not crooked. 